There are always some weird offseason trades, but this one's particularly strange. The Chicago Blackhawks traded a seventh round draft pick in next year's NHL draft to the Tampa Bay Lightning for Scory Perry himself. The weird thing is, Perry's a pending UFA, which means come July 1st, he can technically sign with any team. The benefits of trading for an unrestricted free agent is that you can negotiate before the window opens and you can sign the player to an eight year deal rather than the seven year available to other teams. Although I don't see that happening with Perry. They must want his veteran presence on the team and figure that they can convince him to stay in the two or so days before free agency opens because otherwise they could have just acquired him on the UFA market although a seventh round draft pick it's really not much in way of assets. It could just simply be that they're trying to show to him that they value him and really want him on the team but I don't know pretty interesting. And the Blackhawks have actually been loading up on veterans they traded for Taylor Hall and and they did another UFA rights trade with Nick Felino, who apparently they hope to sign. Either way, Nick Felino in Chicago, yeah, that fits. Corey Perry with a Chicago jersey, if he signs, that will be extremely weird. But it continues to get weird because the Islanders traded Josh Bailey and a second round pick to the Blackhawks for future considerations. Now, this is essentially a salary dump. The Islanders were looking at buying out Josh Bailey anyway, so this saves them a bit of money. What I'm trying to say is if you really like the 2010s, early 2010s, NHL be a Blackhawks fan next year. I'm going to watch the team because they'll be interesting. Finally, the other big news today is that the Oilers gave up on the Yamamoto experiment with Pugliarvi also being traded last season before the trade deadline. That's two pretty big whipping boys in Edmonton gone. Yamamoto alongside Costin will be going to the Red Wings. And I mean, you could say Edmonton's getting nothing back, but really they're getting the $3 million cap space. I don't know. Yamamoto, he just couldn't make it work with the Oilers, even playing with McDavid. I do wonder whether a young Detroit team could really work out well for him but i guess we'll see i think before free agency starts i might need to do like an all nhl cap dump or future considerations team but we'll leave that for another day see you guys soon